One of my favourite dishes at Christmas is a platter of seafood. We tend to have it on Christmas Eve. It's very easy to make, it's very delicious, and it has that sense of occasion. And the real beauty of it is the way you engage with your guests and your family. There it is in the middle of the table, and everyone takes what they wish. It's a celebration dish. Today I'm using the fresh Dublin Bay prawns, the lobsters from Scotland, fresh crabs from Cornwall, oysters from Colchester, prawns, and the whelks from the south coast. The best way to do this dish, and the quickest way, is one large pot of boiling water. And the first to be dropped in are the whelks. The whelks take 30 minutes. Our whelks have now been cooking for 20 minutes. It's now time to add the crabs. The crab will take approximately 10 minutes. The crabs have now been cooking for two minutes. It's time to add the lobster. Two minutes to go, time for the longestines. The fresh Dublin Bay prawns. So all our shellfish is now cooked. 30 minutes in a big pot. It's now time to drain it to allow it to cool. If you don't have a pot as big as I have, then just use smaller pots. And there's all our seafood, cooked within 30 minutes, leave to cool, and just before serving, you crack it open. It's now time to make our accompanying sauces. The first sauce is for the oysters. Finely chopped shallots in good quality red wine vinegar. Then we'll make some tartar sauce, which is very simple. Mayonnaise, some caper berries, some diced gherkin, some chopped shallots, and some chopped parsley. And our third sauce is a cocktail sauce. Mayonnaise, ketchup, Worcester sauce, and a little Tabasco some spice. The secret of opening oysters, in with a knife, twist. On a 45 degree angle, and very easy. But the secret is a good knife. Our shellfish is cooked and it's cooled. It's ready to be broken down and presented. Take some of our whelks and we'll pick those as we eat them. Then we have our lobster. As you can see, perfectly cooked. And here's our claws. You can see you bring them out in one whole piece. Now the crabs. Take the legs off and just keep the thigh so you can pick with the fork. When I'm traveling with Pierno, one of my favorite stops is Vigo in northern Spain. They have the most amazing fish markets. I mean, you go there and you see shellfish like you've never seen. In with the prawns. The beauty of this dish is it's an indulgence. It's a taste of the sea. And there we have it, a seafood platter. The perfect dish to eat with family and friends on Christmas Eve. Marco, these are the treasures of the sea. It's completely glorious. I've brought along some wines to match, uh, all of which have one thing in common, all bright and invigorating. But I think to start off with, what better way to celebrate the treasure of the ocean than with a glass of fantastic French fizz? Champagne, Le Ménil, it's a Grand Cru, Really tiny bubbles, great finesse, bright flavours. It's a Blanc de Blanc, but it has that wonderful freshness, and I think with lobster especially. Delicious. Crab is a wonderful pairing, actually, with Viognier, but one of my personal favourites is actually Albarino from northwest Spain. Now, people who enjoy Chambly really tend to go for it. It's crisp and bright and vibrant. And also, the other thing I love about this is if you're on board Azura, you'll go past. You'll wave at the vineyards of Galicia. Northwestern Spain, very cool climate. If you imagine the kind of brightness of a Chablis, but with a slightly aromatic twist, a little peachiness to it, lovely Spanish wine, I think, with this shellfish. Mm. Well chosen. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a um, prawn. I would love a prawn, actually. These are delicious, may I say. And this... And a bit of lobster. Oh, it's spoiling it. Mark, and that is completely delicious. And the third wine? The third wine is Blind River Sauvignon Blanc, which is one of the big hits of the glass house from New Zealand. Sauvignon Blanc, French Sauvignon Blanc, tends to be very tight, very bright, very grapefruity. This has more of a passion fruit, more of a tropical side to it. It's great Magnificent. Fun. Isn't it great? Yeah, really magnificent. Mm. I think this is my favourite out of the three. Aha, great! It all works very well with the seafood. Mm. Really well chosen, Ollie. Thank you very much, Marco. Glorious platter. Well, to Christmas. I bet you are the master. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Marco. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas.